me most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. What's also annoying is when they, you know, when they kill us. Ladies and gentlemen, the Buttsman is back. I'm back on the road doing live stand-up comedy shows. It's been too long. In 2019, my last tour before, well, everything shut down, I sold out my world tour. I went all over the globe. It was amazing. And now I am back for my new show called The New Normal. So. Come and get your tickets, the link is down below, or head to isaacbutterfield.com forward slash tickets. That's where you can grab your tickets. Get them now, they're selling out. G'day you good motherfuckers, the Butts Barn here, and I've got a question for you. So get out your pads and your paper. What does Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Ivan the Terrible, Donald Trump, and Piers Morgan have in common. Millions of deaths? Sure, some of them. Fierce dictators? No doubt. But there's one thing more that they have in common that you may not be aware of. <clears throat> They're white! And you know what else is white? Me. Evil confirmed. We all know that being white is a bad thing and you should judge people on their skin colour if they're white. Martin Luther King's speech, <laughs> colour of their skin, Content of their character, nah. Judge a man by the content of his character unless he's a white fella and then you should just hate him and blame him for everything wrong in your life. Because all that matters these days is the melanin count within your skin and where your grandparents or your ancestors came from. That's all that matters. Everything else is null and void. Now obviously I'm being sarcastic here. There's a little bit of sarcasm there. You may not have picked it up. The whole point of this video is saying you shouldn't be racist to anybody, including black, white, Asian people, Mexican people, every people. You could argue potentially, that there's no one that actually hates white people. Except for maybe this. A psychiatrist who told a Yale School of Medicine audience that she fantasized about killing white people. Kalina Hani told her audience about her own rage and that she had fantasies of unloading a revolver into the head of any white person who got in her way burying their body and wiping my bloody hands as I walked away, relatively guiltless with a bounce in my step. Jesus Christ. And then there's this shit. Why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. We all know, if you're paying attention, that racism focused on white people is championed across the woke world. Yeah, white people have done some dodgy shit, but so has everybody. And that is why when I saw this TV show and the trailer for it, I wasn't even slightly surprised. I think what annoys me most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. <laughs> I agree, I'm sick of white homeless people pretending to be the victim. Like, get over it guys, <laughs> build a bridge and sleep under it. Or like a, a white woman who, who's suffering at the hands of domestic violence. Like, stop being a victim lady. But also, what the fuck would I know? I'm white, I'm a fool. What's also annoying is when they, you know, when they kill us. Fair enough, I would imagine anyone killing anyone would be annoying. But also, jokes aside, I do imagine, for, for African American people in this case, being around white people would be scary because you always hear about how white people are killing black people. But is that true? In 2018, the Federal Bureau investigation reported that 81% of white victims were killed by white offenders and 89% of black victims killed by black offenders. In 2017, the FBI reported almost identical figures. 80% of white victims were killed by white offenders and 88 of black victims by black offenders. So sure, you can be scared of white people killing you, but statistically speaking, they're not. But old love on the video just said, can you please stop killing us? Well, they don't, so shut up. This is a trailer from a TV show called Everything's Gonna Be All White. And it's on Showtime. And it's hilarious. In honour of Black History Month, Showtime Documentary Films is premiering a provocative new three-part docu-series which explores the history of race in America from the perspective of people of colour. Everything's Gonna Be All White delves deeply into the root causes of racial inequalities in this country. Now, it's definitely a conversation that should be had, but judging by the trailer, and maybe they did this deliberately, it just seems like it's a video or a series hating on white people. And by definition, that's racist. What is fragile about whiteness when everything has been constructed around it? Every part of who I am has been distorted or criminalized. It's really just a bunch of 
White lies. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, big fella. As I said before, there is no doubt that white people have done fucked up things. And for my great, great, great grandparents, great, great grandparents, as great grandparents, I apologize. Does that make everything better? Of course not. You can't be held accountable for things people you never met, but just you related to by blood, did. That is ridiculous. So why am I apologizing for something that I absolutely vehemently disagree with, but also had nothing to do because it happened hundreds of years ago? We're storming the Capitol! You're not patriots, you're ridiculous. I agree, that storming of the Capitol thing was fucking ridiculous. But what I will say is everyone was mad at that, but when the Black Lives Matter protest destroyed millions and millions of dollars worth of personal property, everyone was like, no, it didn't happen, I can't see it. One of the definitions of American whiteness is ignorance. In that clip, you got white power flags, you got Nazi flags, and you got Trump. Is it fair to clump them all together? No. Why would you clump them all together? Was he really a racist? I don't think he was like a full on racist. I don't think he was the most unracist person of all time. I guess we've all sort of a little bit racist, but I don't know. I think it's unfair to put a Nazi flag next to Trump. White people, we are not your problem. You are. Should white people today feel any responsibility for slavery? <laughs> Hell yeah. Why? 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 Give me one good reason why. Should Chinese people today feel responsible for the ancient Chinese slaves that were plaguing the country many years ago? Should modern Egyptian people apologize to the slaves that built the pyramids? The Romans had slaves. Should modern day Italian people apologize for that? Should they feel guilty? No, because it's done by people that aren't you. And all we can do is learn from the mistakes in the past and make sure it never happens again. Symbols and monuments, these are mementos of racism. Bring that statue down. What about TCBY yogurt or something? Everybody can get behind. <laughs> the felling of statues is interesting. Take this guy, for example, Captain James Cook. Discovered Australia. In fact, he, well, he didn't discover Australia. The Dutch discovered Australia. Well, in fact, they didn't discover Australia. The Aboriginals discovered in Australia. Lots of people discovered Australia. But in their world, Captain James Cook discovered it for the English. And it was a feat. Like, he fucking sailed from the other side of the world. Like, good on you, mate. You're killing it. And there is no doubt that atrocities followed his landing. But do we erase history just because it affected people in a negative sense? I, and this is probably thoroughly offensive to thousands of people, I'm glad that Captain James Cook landed in Australia. Because otherwise I wouldn't be here. If I say that I'm not happy that Captain James Cook came here, I would be lying. And I think anyone who says any differently, if they're white, of European descent, they're lying as well. Point being, don't delete history, learn from it. The truth has to be told about history. We have to make sure that these stories are told from our perspective. There's always hope, you know what I'm saying? We don't give up. It's about obliterating systemic and institutionalized racism. All of that I can get behind, mate. What I can't get behind is how you're directing hate. You are directing hate so broadly, it's ridiculous. You are dividing people based on something so silly like skin color. It's not going to help any part of this conversation whatsoever. This is a wild place, y'all. It's a wild place. I know Harriet and Frederick be up there just like, <laughs> what is they gonna do? Now I am sure that this show will be successful. It's probably gonna bring up some really interesting topics and I'm pretty much convinced that they only made this trailer to go viral, which it did. But is spreading hate to just get viewers a good thing? Probably not, not the best move. Now I'm gonna end this video with a quote from American economist and social theorist, Thomas Sow, who was born in North Carolina, then moved to Harlem, and is now 91 years old. Racism is not dead, but it's on life support, kept alive by politicians, race hustlers, and people who get a sense of superiority by denouncing others as racists. The quicker that we get over this skin color shit, the better. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stings, toodaloo of well. <laughs>